This is an overview of how to use the Friction Lab Simulation. So first you're going to click on Begin, and that will take you into the lab setup. You will have been assigned a random pair of surfaces to test in your group, and you're going to be able to toggle to that surface pair uh, by clicking on where it says Types of Surfaces. So again, you would click on it until it shows the two surfaces that you have been assigned. Once you are on your assigned surfaces, you would then be able to set the mass of the object by clicking on the up or the down arrow to either increase or decrease the mass for each trial. Now, similar to graphical analysis or the lab quests some of you have used in class before, um, this is going to show the amount of force in the string on the sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. And you can see the numbers are changing here as the person pulls harder and harder and eventually the block slides. Now the values that were visible on the force are going to appear on this graph below of force versus time. What this is showing is that inequality that we learned for the frictional force for static friction. That static friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force at its maximum value which occurs in this case around four seconds. So for my data, I would record this maximum value before the block starts to move. This value down here would be the kinetic friction force on the object. So again, the maximum static friction would be this maximum value that you'd see here. Kinetic friction would be this value here. In order to take another data point, you would hit the reset button you would then be able to toggle to a new mass value, hit start, and it would repeat again, and you'd be able to take more data. Um, and you can see that the value has changed a little bit already. And you can see, again, the maximum value uh, for static friction up here, and then the kinetic friction value is this horizontal line. So you will take those data trials, um, multiple data sets, uh, meaning test out uh, multiple different masses uh, for your pair of surfaces. There are between 15 and 18 different masses available for each surface, and I would recommend collecting as many data points as possible so that you get the most accurate result possible.